Twilight actor Gregory Tyree Boyce and girlfriend Natalie Adipajua found dead. The couple was reportedly found by his cousin, who was also staying in the home at the time, after he realized Boyce's car was still at the property, when he was meant to be in Los Angeles. Gregory Tyree Boyce, who was in the first Twilight film in 2008, has been found dead alongside his girlfriend. Boyce, 30, played Tyler, who almost crashed his van into Bella before Edward stopped it with his bare hands. Boyce's girlfriend Natalie Adipaja was 27. Police said it was not a criminal incident, and the coroner said they were waiting for toxicology results. Boyce's brother Chris Wayne wrote on Facebook, I wish you were still here bro. The world lost an awesome person. His mother Lisa Wayne wrote, I'm sick without you. I'm torn, I'm lost. I'm in pain. I'd text you or call you when I was broken or worried about something, and you'd tell me, Ma, I got you, we'll get through this together. Boy. Why did you leave me? She added, never another hug, kiss or to hear those words, I love you again. I'm broken. I love you Greggy, my honey. She said Boyce and Adipaja were in the process of starting a chicken wings business with flavors named after West Coast rappers. So much life to live. Boyce leaves behind a 10-year-old daughter, while Adipaja had a young son. In a heartbreaking post from December 5th, Boyce celebrated his 30th birthday with a message admitting he didn't think he would make it to the landmark age. At one point I didn't think I would make it to see 30 years old. Over the years like everyone else I have made mistakes along the way, but today is one of those days I only reflect on the great ones. What a time to be alive, he wrote. Happy Dirty 30 Self. Let's make the rest of these years your best. In his final post last week, he declared his love for his girlfriend on US Mother's Day, stating, Happy Mother's Day again to my right hand slash my roll dog slash my queen. Love you. A GoFundMe page for Adipaja's funeral said, Natalie had so much life to live we are saddened that her life was cut short. The Clark County Coroner's Office, which covers Las Vegas, confirmed the news to various U.S. media outlets, telling USA Today the causes of death were pending toxicology results. Police spokesman Larry Hadfield told the Las Vegas Review-Journal, the incident was not criminal.